Hello world, welcome back to some Battlefield. I am Hambone, and this is another episode of Know Your Weapon, the series where I teach you a little bit about the guns in-game and in real life. Last time we talked about the M1907 from the Medic class, and today we will be discussing the Benet Merci from the Support class. The Hotchkiss M1909 machine gun was a French design, light machine gun of the early 20th century, developed and built by the Hotchkiss Company. It was also known as the Hotchkiss Mark I by the British and the M1909 Benet Merci by the Americans. The French variant fired from the 8mm Lebel, while the British version used the 303 round. The US finally got in on the party around 1909 and they ended up using the 30 6 cartridge. The three unique names come from three different sources. The first one being Hotchkiss, which is the name of the American, Benjamin B. Hotchkiss, who started the company in France. The other two are Lawrence Bonnet and Henry Mercy, which were the two main designers on the weapon, and the US designation system at the end, which is the model, which is why we always see M whatever. The Bonnet was gas operated and air cooled and had a maximum range of 3,800 meters or 4,200 yards, and it weighed 12 kilograms or 27 pounds. Initial models were fed by a 30 round strip magazine but later models could be either stripped or belt fed. The US type had a bipod while some others used a small tripod. This tripod fitted under the firearm could be moved with the weapon and was very different from larger tripods of that period. Now let's talk about the Benet Merci in Battlefield 1. Again we see two variations of this weapon, the first being LI which stands for Light Infantry and the second which is GU which stands for Gunner. For me, there is no real comparison here. The GU just outperforms the LI in all areas. They both have the same damage and hip fire accuracy, but the GU has substantially better accuracy and a bit better control. Not to mention that in the Alpha, the LI doesn't even have a scope, so I naturally gravitated to the GU. As you can see from some of these clips, the thing has the ability to reach out and touch somebody from quite a distance, and this thing is very freaking stable, so it makes it an all-around good weapon. The damage output is great at mid and long ranges, but I still feel that all of the machine guns need something a little buff there in the CQB area, because they seem to suffer. But overall, this is my favorite light machine gun from the Alpha. It should come as no surprise to you that each of these variations was 40 war bonds to unlock and could be unlocked at any time. That's going to do it for this episode of Know Your Weapon. I hope you enjoyed this video detailing the Benet Merci. If you did, smack a like on this video so that we know you loved it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Battlefield 1 content and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with all the Battlefield news and to know exactly when I'm streaming live on Twitch. If you really crave more content, you can always visit aimassistgaming.com to find all of our links to the different podcasts that we do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Hambone, and I'll see you when I see you.